In my update today, I'd like to talk about panic buying, which refers to excessive buying behaviours that can often arise in situations of uncertainty. We've observed this throughout our borough as well as in other parts of the country. I'd like to talk about why this happens, why this is harmful, and what we can do to avoid this type of behaviour. As we know, COVID-19 has brought about many challenges. It can make us feel that we lack control. It can make us feel very uncertain. It can induce fear. And it can also disrupt our sense of continuity as we have to engage in different behaviours and do different things that are undesirable, such as social distancing. Panic buying can actually give people a false sense of security and a false sense of continuity and control in a situation of uncertainty like this outbreak. So it's actually quite false and it's not very sustainable in the long term. It can cause harm to other people in our environment, particularly the more vulnerable members of our borough, who may not be able to access essential items because they've been stockpiled by other people. And the third thing, the third reason why this is harmful, is that it can also instill feelings of panic within our community. As people go to supermarkets, they may find that they're unable to access items, they may encounter empty shelves, and this perpetuates that sense of panic throughout the borough. However, there are some steps that we can take to try to avoid this type of behaviour. There are some concrete, tangible, sustainable steps that we can take to fight against COVID-19. As I've discussed in previous updates, we must all observe the social distancing measures that have been introduced by the government. By avoiding physical contact with anybody outside of our household, we are doing our bit to fight against this, this pandemic. Limit the number of times that you leave the house and only really leave the house if it's absolutely essential. Wash your hands frequently. Remain socially connected to other people using technology. And thinking about your supermarket visits, please try to plan ahead before you go to the supermarket. Think about what you will reasonably consume and require until your next supermarket visit. Please go to the supermarket alone if possible. And when you are in the supermarket, please do think about other members of our community, particularly vulnerable members of our community, as you complete your purchases. Uh, please think about what you can reasonably consume until your next visit. And the final point I'd just like to make is that the council is offering a number of resources to our residents. Please do contact the community hub, community hub if you are experiencing any difficulties in, in accessing food or in relation to shopping. In the meantime, please do stay safe. Please do follow these simple steps because in doing so, you will be doing your bit in the fight against COVID-19. Thank you.